Hello there everyone, this is Soul Super 17 here, and let me get through this like usual. I do not own anything from Naruto, you know, from Naruto Shakun, nothing. I do not own none of the characters, none of the names, none of the whatever else from Naruto. And I don't even own this picture. And this is an unpaid video, it is just for fun. Alright, um, I think I owe a lot of people some explanations. I tried to work on this freaking video, like, on a script. Try to write it all out. What I wanted to happen, what I wanted, and I couldn't get it. So, I tried other scripts, um, tried to write them out, couldn't do it. Also, yeah, um, fan is running. It's basically really hot in my room. I'm, that's basically like summer where I am. It's really hot in my room. It gets that way overnight, so my fan's running. If you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. I just need it because... I am not dealing with a hot room while I'm making videos. All right. After this video, I'm gonna try and make the demon. I mean, not the demon slayer one. I'm gonna try and make the DMC one, and then I may make the dragon slayer one. I gotta get up though tomorrow to see my see some family. So, yeah. Anyways, this is what if Naruto became a demon part four. Finally, <laughs> yeah finally working on it anyways um last time we left off is where Jiraiya told Naruto and basically Kuyumi to basically pack up their bags and go you know with him to find Sanade um it's gonna be changing with Sanade so yeah but anyways while they're walking along Naruto just basically asked Jiraiya Hey, um, what is Sanade like? And Jiraiya starts to describe her and about her, like, gambling debt and how she is, mostly, and what else she's like. And he's just saying to himself, like, Naruto's just saying to himself, saying, and she's gonna become Hokage. Alright. Alright, okay, I see how it is. Even though I'm the most powerful being the, the person in the Hidden Leaf Village right now, I'm, you know, still can't become Hokage. But then he does realize, oh yeah, my, uh, I, I'm not, I don't have very control of my strength right now. <laughs> so, and then Kyumi just says, and she's supposed to be Hokage? And Jiraiya looks at her and says, yes, yes she is. And she basically Kimi just asks him, why not you? He he says because well my connections my intel basically Intel network is way too powerful and also I can go out in the world and find find the people that I need to find so that way I can well or I could have protect Naruto. Now he can protect himself because of what he did. And then Naruto goes like, Oh, Okay. So, and also he just points out, is it, is it also because of your research, Jiraiya? And Jiraiya just says, maybe. <laughs> so Naruto can just smack their heads, like, softly, just like, oh my god. So, Jiraiya does, like, try to talk to Naruto about the summoning. He should really try to learn a summoning jutsu or you know like just something to help him out like some more jutsu so he'll be training him um yeah and then kiyumi does say something to naruto he goes oh yeah i forgot to tell you i have a summoning jutsu i need you to learn and naruto was like actually dry and naruto look at her go like wait what and Kimi just goes, <laughs> sorry, it's just because your training is top priority. It's, uh, basically, it's a old friend of mine. He runs a blacksmith shop. And Naruto goes, like, who is he? He goes, like, oh, you, you know him. He goes, like, wait, Muramasa? He goes, she goes, yeah. And he goes, like, okay. Like, tell me the hand signs. Show me them. She basically shows him the hand signs. He basically does it, and he just hits the ground after he did them, and then all of a sudden, while they're in the middle of the road, he summons out the shop, and basically, Muramasa 
like was in the middle of doing something when he was summoned. So he thinks it's Kogumi. So he basically runs out and he goes like he just basically says, Nine Tails love the and then he sees Kuyumi uh basically the Toad stage and then he sees Naruto and he goes like he's just looking at Naruto he goes Naruto and Naruto is still in his human form and he goes like yeah it's me Naruto is a monkey he, he just runs over and hugs Naruto he goes like it's been a long time my boy he goes yeah it has been Muramasa he goes How have you been you know they're just like catching up like they haven't seen each other in like a couple month years or something but it's been a long long time and Jirai goes like uh who is this and he goes and then Muramasa introduces himself as him you know as Muramasa the one who forges who's a forger of swords gear equipment anything you can think of he makes and he's a basically a demon like the nine tails or and then Naruto just says she has a name and he goes like oh what is it he goes Kiyumi he's like okay then Kiyumi's an old friend of mine and I'm a demon just like her but I'm more of a well a lost soul you can say and Jerry goes like oh okay as they enter the shop and basically Naruto just sees everything he made the way the shop looks like on the inside, it's bigger than on the outside. I kind of figured why not do that way because he's a blacksmith, so he's gonna have like a lot of stuff around. So yeah. So he just says, "You like anything you see, Naruto?" He was like, "Everything, actually." And then he sees just clothing. He goes like, "Okay, I definitely need some of that, some of these." And then. He basically just starts looking like through them. He's trying to see if like he does. He's just trying to see if he'll find like some clothing that will fit him when he transforms into his basically his real form, his true form, which I don't think I made Jiraiya see. But yeah, Jiraiya was asking why is he looking for clothing, and then Kiyomi just says basically just tells Jiraiya, oh he's looking for clothing to fit in his true form, and Jiraiya was like wait what? And Naruto just says, oh yeah, um, I look totally different when I transform, you know, because of the whole entire becoming a demon thing. And Jerry goes like, oh yeah, okay. So, he basically shows up looking through. He found a couple of pair of clothing that he uh, doesn't know if will fit. So, he asked Mamusa, Mar Maramasa if there's any like a changing room. And he just says, hmm, yeah, I think there should be one in the back. It hasn't been used in a while, so go there. So Naruto, Trent, like, takes off his jacket, give it to Kimi, just say he'll be back. While he's walking, he trans, he's just, like, starting to transform into, like, his basically 16-year-old true form, basically. And then when he gets, he goes in there, he chains out, he comes back. And the clothing he wears is basically just like a black shirt and black pants. Nah. Nah. He wears a, um, nah, the shirt's different. It's black pants and he's wearing like a red and blue shirt. So it's like almost like a tie dye shirt, but it's just like different things, and you know, it's like a like it looks like flames on it. And Mama Muse does say like that shirt and those pants do have like some significance to them. He was like, and Arthur was like, wait, really? He was like, yes, yeah, it's to vent like some fire jutsus and like ice or like lightning jutsu to from like hurting you that badly. Everything here always has like a secret aspect to it so you don't like have much trouble in a fight and Naruto's pretty impressed by it so he finds like a like some different designs on shirts like there's like some skulls on another shirt that's just white and then like black, like more like black clothing and like red red shirts blue shirts just different things like some have snowflakes on it some have like just like little leaves on them looking like and so it's basically just a lot of stuff that Mur 
Maramasa has made over the years that would like prevent from different style of jutsus and even the pants have like some significance to them like they don't like rip that badly they have more durability to it and they have like pockets on them where he can carry so much stuff at once like pretend it's like Deadpool with the infinite pockets but there is a limit to how much he can hold in them it's just that it's just that big and so yeah He's just saying it's just like he was bored and he thought why not making this. And it's just like it was just one pair. There's like not that won't like ever happen any other. It's just like he, he realized it was just like too much. But he didn't make a limit. You can only hold in the pockets on the side of your pants. Only like about like 10 of the same item. So that's it. And... Naruto says, well, that's very convenient. So, he's, a. Uh, he has some money on him. He His money that he saved up when he was, like, from his missions with, like, Kashi and Sasuke and everyone else. And Maramasa just says, okay, that's, uh, that's going to be about a thousand, 1,500 yen, which Naruto is surprised. This is that kind of cheap because he has gotten like like I said the red shirt with like flower like leaves on it the blue shirt with snowflakes the white shirt with skulls on it like pants like the pants uh but the one with the pocket where you can hold 10 items of this 10 of the same items he's getting that he's even getting like some regular pants um some pants that are way more durable and just like, and he even got like a freaking backpack, just like carry more stuff for for this, you know, just for these clothing with him. Also, the shirt, and plus he's still wearing the items that he have on, like, and he even found like some new like new shoes, so he just gets that, and they like have like a little bit of a gravity to them, so like he gets a lot more stronger with it. It's just like two times gravity. So he's able to get stronger. Which Naruto was surprised. So it's just a high round. He forgot about those items. So he says, okay, it's 2,000 yen. Which Naruto gives him it. And he says, thank you for that. And then he just starts folding up the clothing. Puts them in the backpack that Naruto got. And then he has asked if there's anything else. And um, he even says to Jiraiya the Toe Sage, do you want anything? And Kuyumi, um uh, for right now, you you can take an item free of the house, which she's actually kind of really happy. So she goes over. She has like some old weapons of her still. So she just says she needs like a new outfit, which I'm just saying she just finds like a set of clothing that will like look that she likes, and it's just. Uh, I don't know, like a dress, like a long sleeve shirt, pants, shoes. That's it, like. And it's one the shirt can protect from. Protect from wind, and the pants have some dur some durability in the shoes, just help with speed. Also, she found, like, some earrings that would help, like, from Genjutsu's. I don't know why I'm doing this, guys. I just thought, why not? Like, like in the script I was making, I wanted to, like, give some items to Naruto, like, because I made, like, the blasphemy that he makes, like, mostly everything. So, why not? That's all. And it's back to it. So, he says, well, I said one item. But, I guess that works, so... And that's gonna be on your tap. She just tells him, and she goes like, "Thank you." And, you know, she's all happy. And Jiraiya, Jiraiya finds a weapon. He finds basically some like he just freaking like grabs the first weapon that he like was like drawn to, and it is a ninja weapon. It's a chain and sickle, and he says, ah, good choice, Jiraiya. 
that chainsicle basically has a triple-edged sword. It's like a triple-edged sword, basically. He was like, what do you mean? He was right, saying to, to Muramasa. And he just says, oh, well, when you cut through, when you use the sickle to cut someone, it adds, well, it adds something different to it. Different to them. It makes them like, they're like in a genjutsu type of state. And that they witness the most horrible thing of their lives. Over and over again. And you can use the chains to basically wrap them around and basically they'll listen to you what you say while they're in the genjutsu. So that's why it's a triple edged sword. So, and Jar says, okay, how much? He goes, eh. For your first time customer, it's free. And that was it. Well, Jara takes it. He says, thank you. He says, yes. Um, come here back anytime. Also, did you see what Kuyumi told Naruto about the hand signs? He goes, yes, then. He says, you have my permission to summon me anytime you need a new weapon or item or something. And then Jiraiya does ask him, how do you, like, give these, like, the clothes and the, the accessories, the swords, everything here, like, their unique properties. Oh, he goes, oh, I put chakra into them. It's kind of like, it's a very hard technique. I took me a while to learn. Basically, I put, I put my chakra into it, and then I have the item take shape of what I want it to be, and what I think about. It's basically, if I think the item should, should give someone some resistance, it basically, the chakra becomes that. The chakra will emit that, well, like say if it's wind chakra, it will emit the wind chakra, and it'll be around you without you ever knowing, and it will block any attacks. So that is how I make these items, which Dry is very surprised by. He did not know any technique like this existed, and Masamu just says it. No one knows about this because it was never done. This is my own way of doing things. And so, yeah. While they, um, you know, they're still looking around, and Naruto just says, okay, that's enough looking around. When do you get going? Mom, <laughs> Muramasa is just laughing. Or Matsumune. Uh, I gotta stop thinking of Muramasa or Matsumune. Damn, by Muramasa, yeah, but, uh, um,. Yeah, we're just gonna say Muramasa right now. So, basically, though, they're just like. They're saying thank you for the items and the clothing. Naruto is saying, I'll come back here more often, visit. He says, Thank you to Naruto. When they leave, Naruto is saying, like, How am I going to? And then all of a sudden, the door closes and poof! The shop just leaves. Okay, I'm gonna shut up the again. Alright. So, yeah. Naruto was like, well, that's convenient. And Kaiba just smiles and says, yes, it is. So, while that happens, you know, they didn't start walking. Uh, it took a, you know, it takes like a little bit. Until they started running to the village that they did in, from the in canon. You know, like, they get into the hotel, they ran it out. Naruto, like, just still wearing his, like, freaking red and blue, like, tie-dye shirt and pants and shoes. The gravity on it. He didn't even put on the jacket on yet. He didn't even, like, want to change back, so he just stays that way. And then him and Kimi are just talking about, like, some other techniques he should learn. Or at least try to learn. Like, she says she he really should try to learn a nurse slumming. Maybe, like, dry out, like, doing the toad stage. You know, he should learn how to summon a toad. I mean, or he can always learn whatever he wants, but it's right down in there. It's a lot more easier for him to then. He doesn't have to worry about, like, looking for a scroll or anything else. And Arto is, like, contemplating on it, and he goes, all right. When, you know, dry does get back. From the basically paying for the room. I mean, paying for like 
how long we need to, we'll, like, you know, go. And Jiraiya does come back, and Naruto says, all right, so how many more nights did you add on to? He says, like, oh, I just added, like, three more nights, so we're just going to be here for today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and then we leave the fifth day. He goes, okay, so we stay here five days, and then we leave? He goes, yes. And he goes, all right, gather more intel, and doing your research, you're going to do that at Privy Sage, and Jara doesn't even, like, react to that. He goes, intel mostly. And Naruto was like, wow, really? Yeah. Also, um, my author still stands about me teaching you the, and Naruto says, yeah, I'll learn how to summon one of the toads. And he is shocked by it. He goes, okay. Um, so, when do you want to start trying to, he goes, well, do you want to gather some intel where Sonati is right now, or we can go learn the toad summoning? And George says, I'll go grass, gather some intel, then uh, you we can do the toad, you know, the toad summoning for you. He's like, okay. So, they, Kayumi and him do, like, focus on, like, his chakra control, and to minimize his strength, so, you know, he starts meditating, and Kayumi is, like, trying to figure out, like, a way how to, like, help him even more with the, like, how can I say, like, she's trying to figure out a way how Naruto can be restricted on his strength so that way he doesn't, like, kill no one with one shot. And the only way she can think of is a sealing jutsu on his strength, which would be multiple, like a multi-layered. And like the first layer will like take like half of his strength. Second layer will take the same amount. Third layer take the same amount. The fourth layer take the same amount. But he may even be too strong. She doesn't know. The way he attacks her is like. He's a, hundred, he's a thousand times stronger than her, but, or no, a hundred times stronger than her. So he's past her level, and he's probably at the ten tails level of strength. So that may be a problem, or even past the ten tails. She doesn't know. Naruto hasn't been going out all out on her. So she doesn't really know for sure yet. I mean, so... She is a little bit worried, so Naruto does this for a couple of hours. Jiraiya comes back, and he sees Naruto just, like, meditating there, and Kayumi is just, like, was writing down multiple, like, ideas or, like, drawings or sketches just to, like, figure out, you know, what to do. And Jiraiya says, hey, Naruto, you ready to go? And then he does ask Kayumi, like, what are you doing? And she just says, like, I'll just try and figure out a way how to, like, seal off Naruto's strength so that way he doesn't kill people. And the meditation does help with his chakra control and to focus on, like, slowly bringing down his strength so that won't, like, happen. And Drago's like, ah, okay. So, Naruto, him, and Kimi do leave the village that they're, like, in, where the hotel is. And they go, like, about a couple miles away. To like a clearing. And Naruto just says. Alright so. Can I see. Like, do I have to sign the contract. Saying like I uh, am able to summon the toad. And then I'll have to summon. Right? And he was like yes. It's a good thing I like always carried it with, with me. So. He sees the name. After like the. Scroll unravels. He sees the names of the people who were. Able to summon a toad. And Naruto sees his father's name. And he just smiles. Indra just notices. He goes. Ah, see you see his name. He goes yep. Naruto then like writes out his name as blood. Then like puts his hand on it. And dresses it. And like rewraps the scroll. And then says alright now do it. And then he says. He does the hand sign, and then he says, summoning jutsu. And all of a sudden, he summons out the 
Toad, and it is Gumbuto still. Like, I'm never gonna change that in any what if. I probably will give him a fo another fox summon. Or I'll just give him, like, another summon. Right now, it's just Gumbuto. So, yeah. And Dryer just says, huh, Gumbuto. Alright. Well, uh, well, I had to be him, but okay. And Gumbuto is saying, like, who summoned me this time, and, like, he feels like all this chakra, and Naruto is just, like, smiling, and, like, very happy that he summoned out, summon, the summoning actually worked, he wasn't too sure, and then, like, but Gunbuto says, hey, who are you, and Naruto just tells him, oh, um, can you stick out your hand, so I can land on it, so, he does, and Naruto jumps on it, and Gumbo to see who he is. He sees the like the the face and the like in the picture and the hair, not the clothing. And Gumbo is just like, "Who are you?" He goes, "Oh, my name is Naruto Uzumaki." Um, well, that's Jiraiya. And he looks and says, "Oh, Jiraiya, it's been a long time." He goes, and Jiraiya does have some sweat on his face. He goes, <laughs> "Yeah, it has been a long time, hasn't it, Gumbo?" And then he, then Naruto says, oh, that's Kiyumi down there, too. And Kiyumi just says, hi. You know, to him, like, all sweet and kind. And Gambuto just says, hmm, where I've seen you. And then the ears and the tail come out. And he was like, oh, no. He goes, yep, it's me. And he goes, like, there's not tails. And, like, he's about to say, like, her name. And he goes, but then he goes, like, wait, Kiyumi? He goes, yeah, that's her new name. And he goes, like, oh. And then he goes, like, wait. How were... I heard she was sealed away. And he goes, like, oh, yeah. Um, she was sealed away inside me. I broke the seal because I made a deal with her to become a demon. And, uh, yeah. That's my true form now. And Kamabuju is freaking out on the inside, he doesn't want to show it, but he's freaking out on the inside, and he goes like, uh, and you summon me, he goes like, yep, also, my father was Minato, Namikaze, so, and, you know, just was like, okay, like, summon me anytime you need me, he's not even gonna, like, try to, like, have Naruto be on his head, and he has to get that same thing, he's just like, just, oh, me, oh, like, okay, like, afraid of him, just, like, literally, and order to just, well, you don't have to be afraid of me, but, all right, so I was gonna do, like, a little test, and he goes, oh, no, nope, you already pass. I don't care, you, you pass, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into, like, a fight with you, kid, and order to just laughs, and he goes, well, also, don't be, like, mistaken about my age in this form, I'm actually 12 years old, but, hey, whatever. He jumps off of Gambuto's hand, right onto the ground, and he goes, Alright, I'll summon you whenever I need you, Gambuto. Thanks. As Gambuto just nods his head and just, like, poofs. Alright, that's it. Um, So what now, Jiraiya? And Jiraiya says, well, now I will teach you a technique that you will be, that you and your father have taught. Well, me and your father have worked on, and hopefully you can approve on it, he says. And Naruto goes, okay, let's see what it is. So he basically forms the rest thing on his hand, and Kiyumi says, you're teaching him that? I mean, he could probably do it with ease. He just needs to probably look at it or something. Or, I don't know. She looks at Naruto and says, can you try it on your first try, or are you going to have to actually learn this? He was like, I don't know. So, basically, he just starts forming the Rasengan, but it's not really, it doesn't really look like the Rasengan. It's not like a perfect circle. It does have, like, some bumps, and, like, he ain't able to keep it, like, this. He, he ain't able to keep it up for that long. It's just like, okay, I, uh, I don't know if I can actually do it. So... He just tells Jiraiya, so that way he doesn't keep on trying to make a wrestling on. He just says, can you just, like, teach me, uh, the steps to do it? Which, Jiraiya, to sort of a smile, says, alright. So, 
he starts, you know, teaching Naruto the Rasengan, I think early. Uh, he starts teaching him, like, the control with the flow of the water. I just make it spin to pop, and then, like, the air pressure to pop. And Naruto starts to control to move the water with his chakra. And he's pouring a little bits of it at a time, just trying to make it trying to make the ball like a little circle or instead of just like popping it. Now he's trying to take his time and trying to get the feel of it. And he does like it multiple times just to get it the feels so that way he knows. Um then he does like the where he has to pop it with just air pressure and he's still like pouring a little bit of chakra into his hand and then he's like starting to and then and he's starting to realize what to do it does pop out of his hand but then he's trying to use his chakra to pop it like Jiraiya showed him how and he did it exactly the same way so he's trying to figure out which way would be better with his hand like Jiraiya can or just like do exactly the same thing like he like his own way of doing it so Naruto just says I could just try both so he does like the pop like use his hand to pop the balloon and then use his chakra so he does this for quite a while and then Naruto thinks I think I got it now and so like, but he says he wants to eat food first before he does it. So, because it's like dinner time. So basically, they uh go and eat. They go and eat, and then the next day happens. Basically, and like. Kisame and Itachi do go to the Hidden Leaf Village. They do attack Kashi, Asuma, and Kushina? No, not Kushina. Um, top Genjutsu, Genjutsu teacher. Asuma's future wife or girlfriend. So. That happens, and your guy comes in and save the day, and but then uh basically, Itachi does get Kakashi on the infinite Tsukiyomi. So yeah, they realize Naruto isn't in the village, and they leave. While well, that happened, um, Naruto, form was outside the village with Kiyomi, and he formed Darasengan. He figured out how he want. He's able to do it, you know, with his hand alone. And then he's able to make. He actually was able to make the shadow clones, and made it that way. He says he's okay with both. It, but it, it's like a little bit more easier with the only one hand. He could just do it right away. But with the shadow clone, he thinks he has a little bit more control over it. Which Kagumi is happy, so she says good. So she walks over to him and then like kisses him on the cheek, just says like for as a good job, as a reward. And so he blushes and just says uh, thanks. And she smiles. And so they said it's about time we get get some practice in. And he has still he you know changed out of the clothes he had from yesterday on. And he's still in his teenager, like te well, he's still in his true form. So he pulls out the sword. And he just says, all right, let's do this. And, but first, he, he says, wait a minute, let me just do this real quick. So he puts out the the threads out of his hand, like they come out, and it just like, goes all over in the woods to make sure that he knows if anyone comes. And Kiyumi understands, and she does say, it's a good thing to do this, that way we don't get anyone intruding on our fight and he goes yep and so during this fight Kayumi is um seeing that Naruto 
from the first time that he fought with the sword clashing, it, he's got it a little bit better. He's um, he's actually able to he's still like able to put chakra on around his sword, like it's looks like a chakra chainsaw. It's like I think I said in the last video about how it like had sharp had points on it with his chakra made it look like a chainsaw, so like a blade. Uh, if not, that just like it just covers the sword. It's a little bit bigger and sharper, and that's it. Uh, I'm really not in the middle of back, so yeah, he's able to manipulate the chakra. All right, that's all I'm freaking saying now. So then he does like he's able to make like slashes with the chakra and they like go at Kiyumi. So she does exactly the same thing. They it clashes. They both like just disappear and she's very impressed with him on that. He goes, Thanks. And then Naruto just like suddenly has a really cool idea. He then like some he then like puts on the he has the Rasing on in one hand and then he puts it on the sword. She goes like, What are you doing? He goes, Oh, just nothing and then next thing you know, he just starts he swings the sword and it makes a slash, but then there are Rasengan's with it. So, it's like a demonic slash Rasengan. And she does a slash, you know, her demonic slash, with her sword, for the chak with her chakra. And it disperses the chakra slash, but not the Rasengan, which hits her and sends her, it makes an explosion and sends her flying. And Naruto is like, oh, crud. And he runs over her and just says, are you alright? No, and she goes, yeah, I didn't expect it to be that powerful. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He goes, she just, like, pokes him on the forehead and just says, don't worry. I haven't been around, I have been around longer than you, so I'm a lot more stronger and durable than you. And he goes, yeah. So, after a couple, like, more minutes of training, they do stuff, and Naruto just like puts the sword back into the sheath, and then it goes back as a tattoo. And I think I should really give him another demon power. So Naruto is starting to feel like a little bit like weird, and he doesn't know what's happening, and like he just like starts sitting down. And Kiyomi, you know, is asking him what's wrong. He goes, I don't know. He just, hold up. All right. Um, yeah, I just thought of it. I had to leave some stuff up. Just want to make sure if I was going to give him it. Yeah. Okay. So he's lying down and he doesn't like. Hawaii just starting to drift off. While this is happening, for some reason, there's like the tree shadows are like coming towards him. And Kamri doesn't even know what's happening. And so when the tree, the tree shadows get near him, all of a sudden, like, they do stop. And they just form, like, a field around him. And Kiyomi's in it. And she's, like, wondering, what the? So, while Naruto is sleeping, he's walking through his head. I mean, you know, like, walking through his subconscious again. Just, like, how he would go to, like, the cage. And he meets Minato in the subconscious. Minato is you know, surprised to see Naruto the way he looks. And asks what happened. And he just, you know, tells him everything. Minato is very upset that his son had to do that. Just to save the village. He goes, yeah, but it's worth it. You know, he even tells about the night to Fox and everything else. And, and so, 
The Fairy Tales were shot about the Nine Tales as a freaking it was a woman, and that he's dating her. He goes, yeah, I am too, but hey, <laughs> you know, it happens, right? He goes, not really. He goes, yeah, I know. So they have a chuckle, and Minato, you know, tells Naruto that he wants to pass on something to him. Minato gives him the knowledge of the flying Raijin. And he's hoping like Naruto will be able will be able to be safe and out everything. So he gets the flying Raijin from Minato. Just pass on the knowledge. And he just like tells Naruto he's like, he's always with him and he's always gonna care about him. He hugs Minato goodbye before disappearing. And when he wakes up, there's like that spear of shadows around him. And then it disappears. Kuyumi is like shocked to see as soon as he wakes up, it disappears. He, She didn't know what happened and she didn't know what was going on. And Naruto... Naruto then puts his hand on her shoulder and then he you know gets up and walks away and she's like wondering what did, did she do something and then all of a sudden he disappears in a red flash and then he's right in front of her she's like wondering what the and then she sees the mark and she goes like did you just learn to fly in Raijin and he goes yeah and he's a little bit in pain and he was like, that happened when you do it. He goes, yeah, I know. My dad gave me the, just gave me the knowledge of it, but I'm going to have to train with it. So, she just starts laughing, and his automatic healing kicks in, and he healed up. He just needs to now get, like, the kunai for it. And then he asked what was with the sh the orb of darkness around us she says there were shadows from the tree and then naruto just pulls out his hand his left hand up and then all of a sudden he just starts pulling something like he acts like he's pulling something towards him and the shadows are basically coming towards him mm. Mm, sorry about that everyone so yeah she made a shot and she said that's shadow manipulation and not really demon technique. Which surprises him. So he has one with string. Well, well threads. Strings. Yeah, one with strings and then one with shadows. He was like, okay. How, what? So I'm going to have to learn how to use this now. She says, yeah. So they go back to the hotel, and Naruto just starts to rest, and Kusame and Itachi are on, like Kus Kusame and Itachi are on the way there, and so like, they're talking about like what, how will they know it's Naruto? He said it's what he was with Jiraiya, so. We should be, we should find him pretty easily. So, yeah. Naruto. You know, they, they get into the, like, it'll take some, like, about an hour and 30 minutes to get to the village. And they said, we'll, like, look around for him. And he said, yeah, let's do that. So, him and Kusume and Itachi do that. And Naruto and Kimi senses them. And they don't even care. They're just like laying down. Just like talking. About everything. And so. When Naruto. No. Not my really Naruto. So like it's like. A couple of like an hour or so. Until they find Naruto. Not even now. It's like only like forty five minutes until they find Naruto room, and like they did distract Jiraiya. And when they knock on the door, 
Oh, just this, like, sighs and says, I'll get it. And Kiyomi's just saying, alright. So, when Arthur opens up the door, he sees Itachi and Kusume, yeah, Kusume, and Itachi and him are just, like, confused. Like, they, uh, they, they didn't, Naruto's supposed to be a little kid, and this is a teenager. And he goes, like, yeah, you guys are looking for someone? He goes, Naruto's Maki? He goes, like, maybe, maybe not. Depends on who's looking for me. And I says, we are Daikatsuki, we're looking for Naruto as a monkey, are you him? Like, I know, I know that's not how they'll do. No, they're just trying to confirm that it's him, and he's heard about Daikatsuki. So, he says, mm, yeah, I'm Naruto. And then Itachi activates his Sharingan, which doesn't affect Naruto. He was like, oh, Itachi Uchiha, Sasuke Uchiha's older brother. And then Itachi is shocked to even see that he's able to talk. Kusume gets out of his sword. And Naruto just kicks Kusume in the stomach, sends him flying into the wall. And he, he tells Kiyomi, saying, it's just going to be a couple of minutes. Maybe 15, 20. And she nods and she says, just don't kill them. He says, I won't. All of a sudden, he, the ta- his tattoo starts to glow, and then the hilt comes out. He just pulls out the sword with everything, and so he takes it out. The sheath. And then, so he just tells them, okay, I'm going to need two options. One, you can live and run away. Or two, I cut off a limb, and you die. Got it? They they think they're powerful them, so they say like the only person's gonna die here or get captured here is you, Naruto, and that's what Kusume is saying. Like Kusume, I mean Kusume, not Kusume, Kusume. God, why am I saying that? Ugh. Kusume is saying that, and so he runs at him with his sword. Naruto dodges, and then he just like, says, "Man, you're just way too slow," and so he just punt. Uppercuts Kisame in the in the chin, send him flying into the ceiling, and he's just stuck there. Which Itachi is just shot, and Naruto then just holds out a sword, and his red chakra is going onto it, and he just says, "So you want some of this, or no?" Itachi just gets out a dagger, and. So they clash, and this goes on for about a good 10 minutes. And Sasuke comes in about he says about Tsuitachi, about how he's going to kill him for getting revenge, for getting, for killing the village, I mean his clansmen. And then he does the Shidori thing. You know, running on the, having on the wall, running towards him, and then Naruto just stops him. And he just tells him, you're just way too weak against him, I can already tell. And Sasuke saying, I have to avenge my clan, so step out of my way. And then Naruto just puts down the sword, turns to Sasuke, and punches him in the stomach. And he says, Sasuke says, why? He, and then falls. Naruto just picks up the sword, and out of the ground just says, sorry about that. Which Itachi is shot and saying, why were you going to... And then Naruto just says, I don't know what's with those eyes, but I know they can make Genju too, so... It, because remember, you said I wasn't I wasn't the Genju... I mean, they didn't say that. I mean, Itachi never said this, so why am I saying that? Yeah. Naruto was just saying, I don't know what's with those eyes, and I'm not going to take anything. Like, I'm not going to goof around, I'm going to take this seriously. And he was just in the way. So Kisame you know, wakes up and he's like trying to get it. He pulls his head out of the ceiling and he just says, You got lucky, kid. I'm going to like get you next time with this attack. So he starts slashing Naruto. Naruto just blocks with the sword. And then he notices something with the sword. He's uh, The sword is starting to like take on the shape of. 
of like sc like scales on it. And now Artos was like, huh. So that's what the sword can do. It takes the shape of other swords. If I block it with that. And Kisame says, what the and then all of a sudden his his Naruto starts moving his sword. And then like I don't know the name of Kisame's sword. So it starts to show like a little bit of blood on it. And Kisame just jumps like he basically pulls back and says he can't face him. And Itachi says, We're out match here, we got to go. And they don't know what happened to Naruto. So and he just, Naruto just tells him, alright, see ya. But don't forget this. And they like look at him and goes like, Earth, he just does hand signs and he goes, Earth style, Earth Dragon Jutsu. And all of a sudden, some like a, out, off the wall, a dragon just comes and hits them out of the freaking building. Send them flying into another building and they disappear. Naruto then fixes the wall and fixes the where he summoned out the dragon. He basically puts Sasuke onto like the side. Like lay him up and then Dryad comes in with the girl because like like Itachi what he did to her. And he says, Good job, Naruto. And Naruto says, You were watching the whole entire time. He goes like, <laughs> maybe. And then Guy Sensei comes in with a dim dynamite impact. And hits Jiraiya. And Naruto just laughs at him. <laughs> so. After explaining who Jiraiya is to Guy Sensei. He says he's sorry. And he'll take Sasuke. And so. Then he. Op Naruto walks over, over to the door. And he says you really alright Jiraiya. He was like yeah I'm fine. Man though that Taijutsu is strong on him. With him. And Naruto just laughs. He opens the door and Kayumi is just sleeping. He was like, eh, she really does like to sleep. And Jiraiya says, yep, I bet. So him and, him and Jiraiya just says, well, let me hit the hay. And Naruto says, yeah. So they fall asleep. Oh, wait, no. Before Naruto falls asleep and Jiraiya falls asleep, Naruto tells him, oh, yeah, I got a new demonic power. And Jiraiya was like, really? He goes, yeah, shadow manipulation. And then Jiraiya says, cool. And then they just fall asleep. Alright, everyone. Um, I'm really I'm sorry for taking this long. It's just I was trying to script this. Took multiple tries, failed. And yeah. Um, I'm going to make another video probably tomorrow before I go to my out oh, and what I'm doing. And I'm gonna like ask you guys of a like what if you want to see this what if as a six hundred special. All right. Um. Hope you do enjoy this video. All right. Um. Wherever you are, have a nice day or night, and bye.